Hello everyone, this is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Mesa, Arizona, and I love to come live to show you what I've been working on in my craft room. So last week I had a really super fun class. I called it, um, It's a Dog's Life. I took um, some of the current Stampin' Up! products that apply to our furry friends and put them into a class and it was really super fun. So I thought I would share those cards with you today. So um, I will just pop you down to the workspace, no sense um, uh, messing around and I'll show you a couple of the cards, some samples, some of the products. Um, um, I hope you enjoy it. Hey Don, hey Jeanne, thanks so much for joining me. If I miss you coming in, um, I'll catch you in the comments. Let me know that you're here or watching the replay or if you have any questions at all. Just know too, today, um, Tuesday, May 21st, is free shipping on orders of $75 or more. So be sure to take advantage of that. That goes through 11.59 p.m. Mountain Time tonight. Alrighty, so let me show you um, the cards and the products and make a couple of those fun cards we did in class last week. I also have a treat packet for you. So hang tight while we get down to the workspace. So um, variety of things I used. I kept it, kept them busy and guessing. So the first one is this great big um, doggone friendly background stamp. So we used that as well as this Pets and More stamp set, which is an online exclusive, meaning you won't find it in a catalog. It's online, still orderable. I can order it for you. You can order it yourself. Um, I used the puppy, but there's a, a bowl and a cat and a bird and a bunny, so real fun um, varieties there. I also pulled in the kit um, by your side, um, all-inclusive kit, and it makes some really fun cards. You got a stamp set as well as um, a stamp and spot. Now, the, be the best friends forever, I'll always be by your side. There's a cat print, a dog print, a dog bone. Super fun kit that makes nine cards and I made most of them so let me quick show you those I used to have a basset hound so I love the basset hound on here good morning Kathy uh, from Ohio so um, I just did a couple of the cards as they're supposed to be done um, and then always a thank you is fun so I changed that sentiment up a little bit also brought in the layering leaves and did a hello, because you can do a hello. Sometimes I have a call for Pence Sympathy cards, so I brought in the thinking of you from the layering leaves. Hey, Susan, thanks for joining. Uh, I, I don't have a cat, but I threw in a cat, a couple of cats. Um, so these are the cards in that Stampin' Up! All-Inclusive kit. It's been a really popular kit. Uh, it's It should be back in stock soon. But what I also like about it is there's a little paw print that you could put on the envelope. So those are the three products that I used um, to create last week's class. So the first card we created in class used the doggone friendly um, background stamp set. And we had copper clay. I, um, I get a real... Um, I have a lot of people ask me for dog or pet sympathy cards. So I brought in this sentiment from Quiet Reflections. The friendship of a pet is one of life's greatest gifts. The designer series paper is from the Take to the Sky collection. So that's the first card we created in It's a Dog's Life class. Then the next one was also with the, uh, and we'll make one of these today, uh, also using the It's a Dog's Life. Uh, kind of tried to brighten it up a little bit. So I'll show you how we stamp uh, the all the pets and then use a punch to kind of highlight the pets that you want. Um, I couldn't decide which color I like, so I let everybody choose kind of a Knight of Navy Melon Mambo theme. Um, and then I used the layering leaves um, if that's a sympathy card, hello, thank you, uh, 
all kinds of different things. And then this last card that we created, I uh, was inspired by Mary Bush. Um, I think she's stamping in the sand. Uh, so this combines, so I've got the Country Woods Designer Series paper, the little puppy from the pets and more. The sentiments are from, are from that paper pumpkin stamp set by your side. And the best part is uh, the, this is the, I made the birdhouse. And so this is where I got the idea from uh, Mary Bush. The birdhouse, I made it into a dog house. And it's just so super cute. I just absolutely love it. And I'll just show you the pieces too that I used for that. Um, we'll make one of those as well. So as we go, let me know if you have any questions about the products and what I used or how I used them. I kind of did um, just a big combination of things because uh, I just wanted to, there are a lot of pet lovers out there and I wanted to take advantage of all the fun products that we have. So the first card I'll create is, oh, let me grab one of those, um, is one of, one of these and we'll see what kind of combo I have of ink and Ink and paper, it doesn't really matter because it all it all coordinates. So I will start with the, hi Sherry, thanks for watching. Um, I'll start with the five and a quarter by four piece of white cardstock. And I'm going to ink up my um, doggone friendly stamp set with Knight of Navy. And I do have it on this great big um, block. What block is that? Uh, I need my bifocals for that. Anyway, when it's a big stamp set like this, I like to ink from the top. So I'm going to apply my ink to the top of this doggone friendly. There are all kinds of different dog breeds on here. You know, my fa my sister has a Boston Terrier, so he's on there. I had a Basset Hound, so he's on there. I know that Sherry has little Tilly, a Yorkie, and she's on here. I see a Chihuahua. Um, there's a Lab, all kinds of different, all kinds of different puppies. Okay, especially if you're a dog lover. All right, so what I did then, hey, Beth, thanks for joining, um, is I'm... When I use this stamp, I try to use my grid paper and align it on the top, and then I know where to put my stamp. I kind of go one square above or one quarter inch, and then I'm just going to press down evenly and firmly on that um, on that background. And um, as you can see, you, uh, the other cards I made, you can use um, you can use the whole thing. Um, or you can do some spotlighting. So I have my two and three eighths inch circle punch, and I just have to kind of choose which which dogs. Well, there's that there's that cute little Boston Terrier, and I can always send the card to my sister. Um, and you can trim around uh, to get the dogs you want. Um, try to get some of the all the different dog cute dog faces in here, and just punch it out. And then, um, you know, if you do it right, you might be able to have enough for another card on here. But that gives you a chance to just pick out, pick out the puppies that you want. They're all so cute. And then I did layer that. I will layer that on a Melon Mambo circle that is cut with the Stylish Shapes dies. They are still available. Um... So that's super cute. Hey, Kay, thanks for joining. And then I just pulled out the Knight of Navy base, which is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We'll fold it and I'll get my bone folder to burnish that here. Um, so we'll put, set that aside because this is the, um, I did have a smoky slate piece Hi, Gina, a smoky slate piece embossed, embossing folder. And um, I want to do a thinking of you card. So I'm going to bring in, let's do, you can either do Melon Mambo or um, 
Knight of Navy. The layering leaves stamp set. Everything fits perfectly. Best wishes, sending hugs. So, um, so I love to mix and match. I love to show all the versatility of the stamp sets so you can get more use out of them. So here's the thinking of you. And you can make any, any kind of um, sentiment you want. And then I have a piece of designer series paper that actually comes from the take to the sky designer series paper as well. And that one measures five and a quarter um, by one and a quarter. Now, these measurements will be on my blog. So check there if, if I lose you. Five and a quarter by one and a half for the white, the basic white. I'm going to put those two together, attach them. Um, there's a, a little border on the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of um, the white baker's twine. So a little bit. I've got, I don't know, I've got probably 20 inches, probably way more than I need. But I, I always like to be sure I have enough to tie um, a nice, a nice bow. Let's see, I have to remind myself, this is the card we're making with the Dog on Friendly stamp set. Hey, Sharon, thanks for joining. So I will um, try to tie the bow here with everybody watching. Um, I've got that all wrapped around. Sure, I can do it. I've got enough, I have enough linen thread, so there is no problem there. So this was a super fun class. Um, lots of, are you team cat or team dog or both or none? But um, most everybody loves some kind of a pet. Um, oh, or just cut a stitch. Yeah, I know. Me and my measurements. Thanks, Don. Um I make up I make up measurements sometimes. So I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of that and we'll put it on the front of our card. Um, and then I, I'm going to actually make the other card as well. So if you have some time, hang with me today for some fun crafting ideas with the all the different fun um, Stampin' Up! pet-related products that we have. And then you can kind of be creative and add all the other elements as well. So I'm going to put this, I'll go ahead and get this going on the my Knight of Navy. Your team cat. All right. I think this Pets and More, I was kind of having some fun with this Pets and More set that, um, that there's an owl on it. But I guess that's the more, because I don't think a lot of us have a pet owl. Um, all right, well, let's do some spotlighting with the Melon Mambo marker. Um, you could color the animals if you wanted. I just kind of chose to color a few key things, like maybe the little tag on this guy. Um, Reggie needs a little bandana here, so I'll just color the bandana. It just gives a little color to it. Um, and of course you can choose any colors you want. I don't think Reggie will be offended by the pink. Um, and this little, this little guy, he needs a collar and his little heart. Um, I don't know. Does he have a scarf? That could be a scarf too, but you can, oh, here's a little dog biscuit and a little, so you can, you can get carried away coloring in all the little, all the little accessories. But what I'm going to do is pop that up with Stampin' Dimensionals on the front of the card. And then, of course, um, we'll, I'll have a, a white for the middle. Um, I thought I had, and with all the different, um, could decorate the front as well. Uh, in the middle. Okay. Oh, and we have jewels. I was using these uh, really fun um, glossy dots assortment. I have um, some of the melon mambo left. So just add some color, make it fun. Um, 
put three of those on different spots. These one, these are interesting. Okay, so there we've got that. With the, the bling and the puppies and the thinking of you, um, I'll need a, a little bit of white for the middle. And I can put like a dog paw on there because there's all those images as well, especially from that uh from the stamp set from the paper pumpkin, or not the paper pumpkin, but the, um... oh, here's a little ball. I know Reggie loves balls. What dog doesn't? So we can maybe um, stamp a couple of balls in the middle of that card. Ooh, little tennis ball. Well, that's upside down. Yeah, how many dogs do you know are just run around with the ball in their mouth crazily? Okay, all righty. So that's how I made the first card. Um, I hope you like that. Um, and now I will get to the second card. And I actually have um, one other, maybe uh, one other fun sample to show you. We made a little, a really fun um, treat packet. So those are just, uh, you can... Uh, select different dogs with that dog odd friendly stamp set. All right, well, let's move on to the one with the dog house. So super cute. Um, so I started with a, um, a basic black card base, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and um, give that a burnish here. And then I have a piece of designer series paper from the Country Woods designer series paper. I think that just works um, really well for that. Five and a quarter by four. And just kind of the look of the doghouse. <clears throat> and now I'll have to use it actually as a birdhouse as well. But the doghouse was super cute. Um, just like that. So um, you can cut all the, the die cuts cut all the different pieces. So I do have, I do have the red dog house and the black trim and the white trim. And then I embossed the red piece with the timber 3D embossing folder. And when you make it into a birdhouse, you do have other options that you could put a hole in there for, um, for your bird, but so, but you don't have to. So that's how, that's how it worked so well for me um, to do that. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the black and kind of build, decorate our doghouse. And again, you can use any colors you want. Um, there's lots of different decorations for the house as well. Lots of choices, lots of ways to be creative. Hi, Ellen. Thanks for joining. Are you still in Arizona or did you head home? All right. So there's, I'll move that up so you can see it just a little bit better. And I'm just going to tuck that um, right in here. All right. So that's basically um, my, how I put that um, birdhouse, dog, birdhouse slash doghouse together. Um, the sentiments are super fun. You make my heart happy. Why not? That sounds sounds good to me. So we need some black. I just used um, memento ink for that. And I do have a piece of our basic, the brand new basic beige um, card stock. And um, that's what I stamped on. I'll give you that measurement in case you're following along with measurements three by uh, four and a quarter and then there's a black layer that's um, three and a quarter by four and a half so I did stamp the you make my heart happy on the bottom of that again lots of different sentiments um, from the by your side all-inclusive kit stampin up releases two brand new all-inclusive kits every month 
Um, so if you're crafting on the go, you don't have a lot of space, but you want to make some cards, these are perfect kits for that. And this dog one is absolutely perfect for that. So let's layer, layer that on here as well onto the black piece. Basic beige is a brand new color that we introduced with the brand new catalog. Okay, and then I'm, I didn't pop that up, so I'll just go ahead and place that on the front as well. I did, I will pop the puppy up. I'll show you how, um, how I got the dog or what we do. So that's just somewhere in the middle here. So I do have the puppy put on a block already. Um, I am going to use the Stampin' Pierce mat for that. Now, there are lots of different ways that you can do this. So I'll show you the way that I made my dog. And then I want to, I do want to show you another option. So I just outlined the dog in Memento. And I don't think I have enough ink on there. And then I colored him with a um, crumb cake stamp and blend marker and then cut him out. So um, I cut him. I've already done that ahead of time. Hi, hey, Alexina. Thanks for watching. So that's how I got his cute little white face there. Um, but there is another option that I wanted to show you. How These are um, double-sided image stamps. So um, I'm going to turn the dog around. And right now I've got the image side facing up. But I'm going to turn that around so that we have just a solid image here. Um, and I will grab the crumb cake and show you how this, how this works. And you can just like, there are so many different colors of ink that we have, like from pecan pie to, um, copper clay, um, crumb cake, early espresso. You could make almost any, you know, and if you had a, what are the red, um, a red dog, um, you could make a Irish setter. That's what I'm thinking of. So that gives you just a um, the basic background image. And then if I, hey, Sue, thanks for joining. And then if I flip the dog around, and I'll get some ink on it. It's a two-step stamp. Um, and I can hover, and then I have a... Um, kind of a crumb cake dog. It's not as as dark as I wanted, but um, let me show you another, see if I have another dog. I did a couple, there's an, um, so I did do those with black, but then you can layer those as well. Hey, hey, Joy, thanks for joining. So lots of different options with the dogs. It's just really fun to experiment. But for me, I this time I just um, colored him in. You could color him in with pencils or Stampin' Blends. So I'll put the house on. Um, you should see the disaster I have here, but that's okay. Um, that's how it is when we stamp. The sh incredible shrinking workspace. Uh, so I'll put the the house on here. And I'll use some dimensionals to pop up pop up the dog on that card front. Just so super cute. I was glad to see um, a stamper from Team Stamp It make this cute little, because I wasn't, honestly, I thought, oh, I don't, I don't really need a birdhouse. But now, aha, uh -huh, I need a birdhouse because it's also a dog house. All right, so there he is sitting in front of his dog house and um, he also, we has a, here's a little bone image. We might need to, um, stamp that as well. See if we can find a, a suitable ink pack. Let's just use our crumb cake and maybe we'll put that on the inside of the card. Just a little dog bone. I need to re-ink my ink. All right, so that's ready for the inside. You can decorate the envelope as well. 
Um, you get the idea. You know what I'm going for. Um, so these are the fun three products that I found um, in the that we dedicated to pets. Doggone friendly. Doggone friendly. And your pets and more. And then the the kit uh, by your side. I really quick wanted to show you um, the cute treat packet. Who chews that? Um, I think it's called extra gum. And there are, um, they come in these little plastic packets. So when everybody comes to class, they always get a little treat packet. And it's usually chocolate. But this time, I use the Country Woods Designer Series paper. I just I stamped the dog um, on the basic beige with early espresso. I used the um, Alphabet a la mode dies to cut those out and use adhesive sheets on the back. And then inside, a little of that basic beige bordered ribbon. And then on the inside, I had um, little dog biscuit treats and they just fit perfectly in there. So um, I thought that was super fun. Um, so if you chew that kind of gum and you have these packages, that is a really fun way to use that. And then I just, I think I had one last card sample because um, I we did not make this card today, but the directions are basically on my blog at kimplayswithpaper.com. But I also took the five and a quarter, well, the sketch, there was a sketch I did last week. And so these strips are uh, one and an eighth. And so I just, I stamped it and then cut the strips uh, and used the sympathy from from the uh, Quiet Reflection stamp set. So there you go. That was my class last week. Um, we had a lot of fun. Everybody enjoyed all the different um, ways of creating um, creating the dog cards. If you have any questions at all about today, I kind of talk fast and I get excited and get in a hurry. Um, but let me know. I'd love to help you. Um, Lots of little fun products to celebrate our furry friends. Thanks so much, everyone, for watching today, for commenting, for just being here. Um, and until I see you next time, happy stamping. Bye-bye.